video it's your boy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about how to get every single centerpiece possible in season two of my team because there's been a lot going around like ty are all 10 centerpieces available day one Hey, Ty, you know, this and that, and, and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you guys today. Now, before we dive any further into that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 110,000 subscribers. So here's the deal. The first thing I'm going to talk about is to find everything you've got to look through everything, okay? Whether that's collector level. Considering there's a centerpiece in collector level, where that is every single game mode. You've got to just be aware of everything. Now, here's the deal. Even if you have the max amount of centerpieces right now, which I'll tell you guys in a little bit, it's nearly impossible to complete all those sets. Because for me, for example, I have, you know, uh, how many centerpieces? I don't know. I've gotten only two centerpieces this season, both of them being tokens. Uh, but I'm still a long ways away because I need, you know, the elite franchise highlights, elite franchise moments, stuff like that. So even if you have the centerpieces, there's more stuff to come with it. But we're going to be breaking it down. Okay. The first things first. Does level 40 get you a centerpiece? No. It can instead get you Devin Booker. But what does give you a centerpiece is collector level. Now, with that being said, it's at 950 player cards. That is a lot of player cards, okay? So specifically to me, am I getting this this season? No, okay? Probably not gonna get there this season, but if you are grinding collector level, you're looking at a centerpiece at 950 player cards, okay? That is the first way to get a centerpiece. The second way is 100 wins in clutch time offline. It's the same thing it was last season. Clutch time offline, at that many wins, 100 wins, you get a centerpiece. Now, this last season, I would have said this was the best way to get a centerpiece. For the average person, I definitely would have said that's the best way. Now, there is a better way this season, okay? The better way, we're going to skip ahead, is triple threat co-op. Now, I would play offline for the most part. I think you're going to, you know, have a better chance if you strictly just play offline than online. And again, you need to have a, you need to have a friend otherwise you know you can't really play this and and as bad as that is like it is what it is you have to have more than one person to play it and so i guess if you don't you know have any friends to play with there's discords out there stuff like that that you guys can join like most ball and i know has a discord that you guys can join to at least get your 50 wins because all you need is 50 wins and once you get that you get a centerpiece that's probably the best method to go for is triple threat co-op for a centerpiece my team unlimited it's still that 6,000 points for a centerpiece uh, after that there's nothing more so so far we've got collector level we've got clutch time offline we've got triple threat online co-op we've got my team unlimited clutch time online 100 wins you'll get another centerpiece okay so then we're at five already we're already at five centerpieces which you know, you're doing it yeah you know you're you're on a good pace triple threat online there's your sixth centerpiece in which in triple threat online it's simple you got to win 100 games it's the exact same it was last uh just kind of last season okay so now we're at six triple threat offline 250 wins you're at seven. Now, you guys can kind of see I'm at 31 wins. I'm slowly working my way towards that because I hate grinding offline modes. And, you know, you can grind XP stuff like that along the way. So that's how you do get your seventh, uh, seventh, um, you know, centerpiece. Now, after that, you guys might be wondering, Ty, is there one available in limited? No. Okay, there's not. Is there one available in draft? No, there's not. And so, yes, after that, it gets pretty tough. There is seven centerpieces right now. And you guys might be wondering, okay, Ty, well, where's the other ones, right? There's supposed to be 10 available. Is there any available in the exchange? There's not. And so right now, there's not even 10 available. I'm guessing they'll drop one later on, whether it's an agenda or whatever else it is. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a weekend event. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll just drop another one in the pack market. But there's two more available in the, in the token market. Now, I've already redeemed them, okay? So they're not going to show up for me specifically. But there are two more for 1,500 tokens each that you can redeem. So if you're wondering, Ty, why do you only have eight tokens on your Road to 250k account? That's why, because I spent 3,000 tokens to get two extra centerpieces. And that's why I have as many centerpieces as I have. That's why right now, at this current stage, I've got seven centerpieces. 
it's because of these, right? It's because of, uh, of the token market. I haven't grinded enough unlimited clutch time online, triple threat online, triple threat co-op, uh, clutch time offline, triple threat offline, or grinded collector level. I haven't done any of those, right? Strictly from tokens, I've got two extra ones. Now, realistically, guys, if you are no money spanner, if you don't play the game a ton, here's the attainable ones, okay? And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys, showcase that because the odds are you're not gonna be able to get 1,500 tokens. That's so hard to do. The odds are you're not gonna be able to get collector level. So triple threat co-op, if you have friends, is the best mode to play. So like when I was in college, like right now, I don't play with a lot of my buddies, but when I was in college, you know, I, I used to play park stuff like that. If they play my team, just get in triple threat co-op, play against the CPU, get 50 wins, and you get a centerpiece. That's such an easy centerpiece to get done. The next easiest probably is clutch time offline. For me, it's probably my team unlimited. That's where I'm, you know, grinding the most. But that's an easy centerpiece to get as well. And so look, before you know it, whether you get triple threat uh, co-op done as well as clutch time offline, unlimited as well as such as another one, you can work your way up. And if you, for example, if your favorite mode is My Team Unlimited, while you get the centerpiece, maybe you grind a couple extra and get some more tokens. And then by the time you get these 500 tokens, you might be in position to get another centerpiece. So that's something I personally like. The fact that 2K did put some centerpieces in the token market. And it just gives you guys an opportunity where, you know, if you are, if you do grind the game a ton, yes, you're in position to get a couple of extra center pieces. So for me, I mean, the easiest to trip with an online co-op, then probably clutch time offline. And then, I mean, it's really up to you as far as where you want to specifically head. Again, there's only nine available. And supposedly, a Dark Matter is going to be available this season. And so that's going to be interesting to see what 2K does. Will it be another collector level uh, reward? Maybe. I mean, maybe at like, I don't know how many cards are even available right now. But maybe at like 1,100 if that's the amount of cards that are going to be available later this season. Maybe they'll give us another one. Maybe it'll be like a, a weekend event. I don't know exactly what 2K is planning on doing. But all I can say is right now, there are nine centerpieces in my team that are available, are attainable. And it really comes down to where you guys want to head what I would focus on for the majority of you guys is getting the best pink diamonds with the best opal in mind. So let's say you got one centerpiece last season and you're going to get two this season. I would, if you did stay within the, the Lakers division, I would go for Anthony Davis. Okay, you guys can see that's where I'm going for. That's what I'm heading for. And so maybe that's that's not where you guys want to go. And that's obviously your own, you know, your your own decision, your own choice. But that is one thing I would recommend. But there are so many great trophy case options. And you guys can see just in my squad alone, one, two, three, four of the trophy case cards are currently in my squad. So that just shows you how good these trophy case cards truly are. That's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully each of you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.